Okay, this video is about the Moto 360 and trying to keep it connected to Android Wear. It took me a while to figure out and I did some Google searches on it to try to figure out how to do it. Nobody seemed to have the answer. I called Motorola, they didn't seem to have the right answer because they wanted me to downgrade my Android or my uh, Google Services app. But when I do that, Android Wear won't even function unless I update the Google Services app. It won't even let me try anything. What I did find out is it's not the Google Services app you need to downgrade, it's the Android Wear app that you need to downgrade. And if you just bought your Moto 360 like I did, and you download the app, you can't downgrade it because you downloaded the newest version straight from the web, from uh, Google Play Store. So the solution to that is real simple. All you have to do is do a Google search for Android Wear APK, as in A is in Adam, P is in Paul, K is in King. Android Wear APK. Pick one of the sites to try to download one that is a previous version, like 1.0 or 1.1. Do not get the 1.3. You want something that says 1.0 or 1.1. So uninstall whatever Android Wear you have, and then do a search and download that. Android Wear 1.0 or 1.1, whichever you find, and install that. And you can keep your current Google Play services, keep it up to date, and make sure you do a reset on your, not just a restart, but a reset on your watch. Clear all your Bluetooth settings for your watch. Make sure you, you know, unpair it, forget it, uh, whatever it says on your phone. So once you do that and you have the down and you have uh, Android Wear 1.0 or 1.1, you should be able to turn your watch on like you got it out of the box. Start your Android Wear and everything should work fine. And at that point, you're going to go to your watch and you're going to go into the settings and you're going to go to info and you're going to go from there you'll go to updates and you should be able to update your software. I believe it's info. But that should take care of your problem. It solved mine real simple, first try. And I just upgraded to the, the newest software on the watch now, and that's supposed to be able to handle the newest Android Wear. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty confident it's going to work. So good luck.